All right, everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and create a simple package.json file real quick. And uh, you can go ahead and create that manually. Nobody's stopping you to do that. But you do not really need to do that. What you can do is you can write npm in it, right? And when you run this command, it's going to ask you a lot of questions and you have to answer them. And the, the, the value shown in the bracket is the default value, right? So I'm just gonna keep hitting enter because no no field is actually mandatory. So just go ahead and keep hitting enter if you want. And you see that it asks you that, it, is it okay? Yep. And yes, it's done, right? So if I go ahead and see this file now, package.json, you're gonna see that it's a JSON file, of course, which has a bunch of keys and nothing special, right? One little quick tip is that what you can do to generate this file quickly is you can say that I want all the defaults to be available, which is what we did last time, but by just, you know, hitting enter recursively and I don't want to mess around. So there you go. In one command, you have your package.json file available. So that's how you're going to create package.json. And now if I go ahead and say npm install lodash, what you're going to see is that it does not complain about uh, the first warning, but it does give us this notice about created a log file. Now, this is something different. I'm going to come to that later on. But yeah, just keep that in mind that this is a notice which NPM told us. So now the idea is that if you look into package.json now, you're going to see this little section here called dependencies. So we're going to cover this um, in depth very soon, what this is. Don't worry about that. But yeah, the idea is that NPM was able to edit this file by itself without, you know, requiring you to open text editor or, you know, make any sort of changes based on um, our installation of Lodash package. So it's pretty cool, right? So yeah, that's, that's basically it for the package.json initialization. That's all for this video. I'll see you pretty soon in the next one.